Entrepreneurs across the African continent have called on the government to provide basic infrastructure that would help them succeed. They said its continued absence adversely affects the growth and productivity, ultimately limiting regional economic development. Correspondent China Merim Joseph tells us more. These entrepreneurs, drawn from various countries in Africa, are gathered in this hall to find lasting solutions to the myriads of challenges affecting their level of productivity. Issues ranging from technology to finance, provision of basic infrastructure, linkage to their target market, and then sustainability are some of the challenges confronting these entrepreneurs daily. The environment for, uh, for uh, the regulations and, and, and ensuring the people are able to start businesses are not very friendly. Um, there's been improvement in some countries. Yes, it's great to access the, the seed capital, but after this stage, uh, we need more capital to increase our production. We need to segment the problems and we need to look at you know, the young enterprises. And what we found is that uh, clearly the normal credit is not suitable for them. All these problems are very much peculiar with entrepreneurs in Nigeria and the federal government says it has established a number of initiatives to address these issues. The president set up what he called these MSME clinics and the vice president heads it. They are able to talk to BOI about access to finance. So it's been very good. We are continuing with that, the MSME clinics. And I think uh, it has really uh, identified all those problems. But indigenous entrepreneurs at this event think otherwise. They say year after year, they have continued to battle with these same challenges. The absence of constant power supply is top on their list. We don't have the social amenities that we should have. I'm trying to go into frozen, but the money you, you, know, you pay in diesel, running generator, and then the value, you know, can not be able to sell it, the cost is always high. They are grateful to the government and some private organizations who have supported them so far, but ask for more. With training and also networking connections. We had a lot of interventions, especially from the CBN, that is going to come. So we hope that it will actually be realized. You have so many government agencies going to other countries to buy this product. This is not encouraging. Developed economies have brought small and medium enterprises to the four burners of their national development. This and a government aspiring to grow must do to place its economy on a sustainable path. From Abuja, Chinamarim, Joseph, STV News.